welcome back to my channel today i'm going to try out some new makeup i'm going to show you what i got so the makeup that i'm going to try out is from kaya cosmetics which is a swedish brand i just got these delivered today and i have been waiting and looking forward to it so much to try out these products i did actually buy base products um because that is what i actually needed so i thought why not just get it all you know i just put on my skincare routine and i also did clean all of my brushes yesterday because i really needed to and especially when you're trying on new makeup you don't want old makeup products to still be on those brushes because that wouldn't give like a fair finish of what the actual product look like it looks like this the most important thing in my order was of course foundation and concealer so i'm going to start off with showing you these they actually did release a dewy drops foundation which i did not get because i wanted to get the kind of like the base kit which was its iconic foundation and its iconic concealer and also the setting powder the setting powder that i got is honey matte the foundation that i got is for warm for w and for w in concealer as well so i'm going to open these three up and then i did also get that do look um setting spray and kaya red carpet primer which is like a glowy primer oh it has been leaking what that's kind of a bummer to be honest so it did leak in the container or in the packaging but the bottle is very cute and it looks very luxurious it feels it is kind of heavy as well and it just gives this kind of like luxurious feeling to it but it does look like this and this also has like this kind of mirror but i'm just okay so it has been leaking like this that is not good so the person who closed this packaging did not close it well or they kind of like closed it like pushing it aside Okay, well, that is a disappointment, gotta say. I'm kind of disappointed at the first unpackaging the Iconic foundation because it was actually, like, open. I do not have high hopes for the rest of the products, to be honest, right now. Anyway, so this is the Iconic concealer. And this also contains hyaluronic acid and vitamin C. I think the foundation also does that. Yeah, so both of these contains hyaluronic acid and vitamin c it does say it here i'm going to try to show you it without being it all weird and here this there's a hair in here look i feel like someone had this before it feels like someone has received this product opened it maybe tried it out i don't know and then they sold it to me i have no idea this is not really looking good this is cleo by the way she is a very energized puppy won't leave me alone even for a second okay so i did actually open the container off cam because i did close off the camera i felt like i'm going to ship this back and wait for a new one to run and then record this video but as you can see the pump is actually not used i just feel like someone did the packaging and then kind of like did not close it enough maybe it was like a trainee or something i don't know but so when i opened it because you can see how much leaked out it's this much it's this much i did contact their customer service so hopefully i will get a like response soon but until then i'm just going to place this somewhere else and i'm going to continue opening up the rest of the product this don't have to ruin the entire a video i did order the it's iconic concealer so i'm going to open it up for you this one is not bro a broken container this one looks pretty good and i love that it's like this kind of frosted glass around it where i don't know if that's plastic or glass but it looks so good and it also looks expensive which i love and it's kind of like this and i love that all of these products do have like a mirroring here maybe this is a little bit too light I'm not sure, but we're going to try it. Okay, this one is unbroken, definitely. So, it looks like this. 
Next thing is the Kaya Setting Powder Matte. And this is the shade Honey Matte. And I didn't want to go with a dark one because I know that I do usually just use a normal like banana powder under here. So I feel like this will be a good shade for me. I don't want it to be too dark. They do have chocolate matte and chocolate glow. But I feel like those are more like bronzers than actual like setting powders. I'm just going to open this very safe. Okay, this is what... The packaging it looks like it also has this kind of mirroring mirroring effect to it i would say let's see if i can get this open this tape is like everywhere <laughs> so this is the setting powder it looks like this it also has kind of this mirror to it and it says kaya as i said this is the honey matte loose setting powder yeah, made in Italy, if that is interesting to anyone. I feel like that makes something so much more luxurious when it's like made in Italy or Paris. I don't know why. I'm going to open it like this and then just bring it up. The only thing that I do not like about these are it gets dirty so quickly. Like, I have clean hands. The only thing I've done with my hands is put on my skincare. And it just gets all of our fingerprints all over it. So don't commit a crime because they're going to know that it's you. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, look at this. Other than that, it looks so luxurious and expensive. And the frosted glass is here again. And this is the powder. So you're just going to open it like this. And I'm actually going to do it now because I'm going to use this anyways. Whenever you are done with your powder, you can just close it up. Especially if you're like traveling, then you can just close it up so it doesn't get out and spread everywhere. And also what is left over from the last time you used it, you can just use it up right here because it does get here. That is everything that got up when I opened it. Anyway, so turning it back and this goes back again to the same spot. So the two products that I have left is number one, the Kaya Red Carpet Prime Glow Primer 02. This is medium to dark because I am medium to dark. <laughs> so I think this should be right for me. The packaging looks like this. I feel like it's so cute. And I love this nude pink. Looks like this. So here it is, and it's a lot of plastic right here. If you compare this one to these with frosting, frosted glass, I feel like these do feel a lot more expensive. They're also, um, they weigh more, which also makes it feel a little bit more expensive in my opinion. So this one is a lot of plastic, but it's still cute. I tried like this, it didn't work, so you have to kind of like do it like this, which is very easy. You can just close and open like this. And next up is that dewy look, which is a glow setting spray, and I love glow, so that is why I chose this one. So when you open it like this, and then you kind of just it out like that everyone that's tried it says that it's really good and that it sprays so evenly and perfect so yeah looking forward to try this today this one is feel to the top and i love it so let's just see what it looks like inside and it has this pretty cute this is really cute but is it supposed to go down yeah it is so you can spray it like this this primer is supposed to be used by your hands so the warmth really like massages the product into your skin so this is what i got and i got it on my nails as well so i'm just going to kind of be like this and then work it into my hands So this is what the primer looks like. I don't know if you're supposed to use it on your eyes as well. But I'm just going to go in like this. 
but I do feel like you do have eye primer or like prime with concealer so this is what this one looks like and I feel like it really did give a little bit of a glow so I really think it's super pretty it's super glowy and also a little bit like dewy um and I do really feel like my skin is glowing there's a little bit of like glitters in this I don't know if you can see that on the camera but I can definitely see it in real life I'm going to do my eyeshadow, so I'm going to start with concealer. I'm just going to open it like this. I'm going to put one here. And one here. And I'm going to add a little bit more on top of this because I do feel like they, they got a little bit more here. Now I'm going to use the setting powder and set like on my eyes. I'm just going to kind of like put it like this a little bit and see how much product we got out there. And that is a good amount of product. So I did take quite a lot, but I know that I need it because I get really oily on my eyelids. So I'm just going to kind of like put it on here. I'm going to use a highlighter from Huda Beauty. This is the Huda Beauty 3D highlighter palette and I'm going to use Tahiti on my eyes because this makeup is the look I'm going for today is not about the eyeshadow. It is about these face products. So I'm going to take a small amount just to add that little glow in there. This is what the palette looks like and it is very used. Okay so this is the shade I'm going with Tahiti. This is what the eyeshadow looks like. It is kind of like neutral but a little bit of glitter and shimmer right there. And I love it. Let's continue to the face. The foundation comes with a pump that we did see before. Shake well before use. Let's see. I'm going to use... We will see how much... Oh! I'm just going to kind of put it like this. So it's almost like watery. I have not tried this shade, but I feel like it will look good. I don't feel like I will need to use any more than I actually already have. But I do feel like this is a little bit too orangey for me at the moment, but we will see the results soon. And then I can judge it. <laughs> I do like the feeling of the foundation. I do like that it is very easy to blend out. The only thing that I do not like about it is that it is very rainy. I'm going to go in with the concealer. So I'm just going to place it like here. And then also like here. Okay, so something like this. I know this is a little bit more that way a bronzer from kaya is something that i do not have but i do have my fenty beauty matchstick that i'm going to use and i'm going to use it with a brush It's a little bit too much on this side, but hopefully I can blend that. I feel like maybe I should have gone with 3.5. So I'm just going to blend this out a little bit. I do like the look of it. And as far as now, I do feel like it is a lot of glow here. I feel like it is the primary because... It's really glowy. I'm going to set my concealer under the eyes and I do tend to be quite oily under my eyes. So I'm going to use this beauty blender again and set it and let it sit. I did shake it a little bit too much. 
Um, I do not think about that when I shaped it. Oh my god, there's like a lot of product. I usually need to shake it a lot because recently, this is like in routine in my head, okay? My banana powder that I used as my setting powder, it was super little product left in the bottom of the container. So I shaved it for a long time so it got out. And I did the same and did forget that this was a new product. I, I shaked it a little bit too well, okay? And there's a lot of product here. That is completely my fault for forgetting that this is a new product that I just got and that is cool. Um, so I'm just going to use it up. I'm just going to dip it here. So I'm just going to take this amount. The rest of this, I'm just going to kind of like dab it on here where I tend to get a little bit oily. Because we're still using the dewy setting spray and it's going to look dewy so we just don't want to look sweaty. Kind of like this and now I'm just going to let this hit here for a while and while it does I'm going to go in and do my eyebrows and a little bit of blush. For my eyebrows I use Anastasia Beverly Hills Pomade Dip Brow Ash Brown. What I use as my blush is actually this eyeshadow from Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette. And I use the blush Doll Face, which is this pink one right here. And I'm just going to put it on here a little bit. I don't want it to be too much. And my battery camera is about to die in a second, so... This is so good. I really love how it kind of like brushed out and that it did sink into the skin and get on there. I'm not creamy or like cracking up at all. I tend to get really oily under my eyes. I'm going to take some of my highlighter and I know we're going to use the Dewy Look setting spray but I still like to have some highlighter on. This is like highlighter stick from Fenty Beauty. This is the shade Rum. I just kind of have it here. Also use a little bit of the highlighter that I used on my eyelids. Put it on top of here. As mascara, I'm using L'Oreal Paris Volume Million Lashes. Okay guys, so this is the finished makeup look. So I did put on mascara and also lip gloss off cam. And I'm just going to use that do a look right now. I just want to try out the spray first. Okay, so that should definitely be enough. So this is what it looks like. Okay, so there's the finished look. I just sprayed a little bit of this Do a Look setting spray. And yeah, it looks kind of good, but I feel like I need a little bit more. And then like kind of let it set in and i need to take cleo on a walk so i think i will be back afterwards and just share my thoughts with you guys this is the finishing look i did use everything here and i did use quite a lot of spray so that do look um i do think it is dewy and it looks very nice but i did expect that it would be a little bit more but I feel like this looks very good anyways. I'm so happy with every single product that I got. Um, I do love all of them. The only thing is that the foundation is a little bit too runny. But it works fine to blend out and everything. And I am very happy with the total finish. This one, yeah, it is quite dewy. It is really dewy. And that is exactly what I wanted. So I just feel like I'm a walking glow right now. 
That is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it very much. If you did, make sure to hit the like button down below. And if you like beauty and fashion content, don't forget to subscribe because that is something that I do post a lot about. All of the products that I have been using in this video is linked down below as well. Mm -hmm.